Symbiosis is a pretty neat entry to our 2024 Outer Wilds single planet mod jam. The jam's theme this time was community. I was a judge and I'm speedrunning the intro because maybe this is the first video you watched from me and you didn't see the 10 other videos on jam entries that say the same thing at the start. Uh, get the mod in the video description instead of letting me spoil it. Otherwise, okay, video time. Okay, so this is the setting of uh, Symbiosis, which the mod creator has decided to make uh, invisible on the map for some reason, but you know, okay, sure. I didn't want to find your mod. <laughs> well, it looks ominous. It's a neat effect that he's done the regular uh, clouds, but they're kind of inside out. <laughs> Unidentified organic particulate detected in atmosphere. That's interesting. So the fact that this was Timber Hearth was given away in the map mode, where the planet as listed as alt underscore th. <laughs> Which was certainly a choice to have made. It looks very cool though. It does make me wonder about people with photosensitivities. So I take it there's going to be a lot of flashing lights in this. Do with that information what you will. This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. I take it the whatever particulate in the atmosphere just means that I can't be walking around without my suit. Although my oxygen meter is full. So. Huh. Ghost matter's not there. Zero G cave is boarded up. It's giving me real uh, dream stalker vibes. <laughs> oh, we got an ominous purple glow. Oh, and we have an angler fish. Um, excuse me? He was forced to play the Outer Worlds. <laughs> okay, so is this a serious entry or not? Excuse me? I met just Waldo on a wintry night. The kind that makes one question bitterly the supposed virtues of warmth or love amid snow and wind. He approached me at the bar and introduced himself over a glass of salt water on the rocks. For me, then, he ordered a glass of centipedes. By the end of the night, I was shocked at his touch. By the end of the month, I was his groom-to-be. I love him. That's beautiful. I learned in adolescence the fate of male anglerfish during reproduction. It was quite the traumatizing thing to learn. In one blow, it also taught me the fate of my father. Through this, I realized I bore no romantic feelings for my own species. Oh, am I reading these backwards? <laughs> I think I'm reading them backwards. I was born a long time ago to a single mother. My father had not eloped with some mistress or left for cigarettes and dairy products, no. He was gorily enveloped in my mother's tissues, resulting in my conception. More on this later. With her, I lived an idyllic childhood until she perished on a desert getaway. So tragic. Blah blah blah, the star will explode. Hey, it's me, Ernesto, the magic docking anglerfish. Nah, just kidding. I'm not actually talking to you right now. This is just a piece of paper you're reading. I 
That's true. That is just a piece of paper. Oh, hey. Got marshmallows. Oh, can I not read this? Oh, I'm bitterly disappointed. Believe it or not, he wasn't forced to play the Outer Worlds. He just got very old. This is what happens to people when they get very old. Huh. Well, you learn something new every day. Well, this is different. <laughs> the discovery of these artifacts has led many experts to believe that the Nomai may have, in fact, been ballin. Really do be ballin, though. Um. <laughs> Talk to Ernesto the Curator. Hey, it's me, Ernesto, the magic talking anglerfish. What happened to you, Ernesto? I got very old. This is what happens to people when they get very old. Didn't you know that? Yes, of course. This museum has been very enriching. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Be sure to check out my pieces of modern art along the south wall. The one on the left is titled, Take the Jam Money and Run, while the one on the right is, Take the Jam Money and Run, the one in parentheses. They're subversive masterpieces, if I do say so myself. Need anything else? Yeah, could you tell me where everyone's gone? I ate them all. Oh man. Nah, just kidding. Your guess is as good as mine, kid. If you're searching for answers, though, I might start by heading to the Quantum Grove. It'll clue you in. Why, thank you, Ernesto. I'll be, I'll be going there now. And Ernesto says his iconic line, bye-bye. Oh, wait. I didn't ask you. What's, what's that on your dangly do? It's a telescope. I evolved it when I took on the job. <laughs> I, evolved, <laughs> I evolved it when I took on the job of museum curator. Nowadays, it's my only source of vision. Anyway, you look a bit out of sorts. Do you need any help? No, I'm good. See ya. Bye-bye again. Alrighty. Uh, south wall, you say. I take it that's these. They're beautiful. Ernesto truly is a creative genius. Is the text here any different? Nope. Is the text here any different? Nope. Head to the Quantum Grove. Where is the Quantum Grove? Oh, I mean, that's new. You didn't tell me to go there, though. I'm, I'm gonna... I mean, yeah. Here we are. No Quantum Grove. Check this out first. Um, it's a lot of signs. By the victim tricked. Uh huh. Oh, they are quantum signs. So the red one says by the victim tricked. Green says is the lowest bloom. This blue one below a starry pool. This sort of pinkish to yet be picked. Um, should I read them all then? The lowest starry pool is the lowest bloom. To yet be picked. By the victim tricks. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go <laughs> over to uh, where I saw that sort of Nomai Tower thingy. Lois Bloom, Starry Pool, Victim Tricked, whatever the last one said, yet to be picked. There's a very thick atmosphere, I'll tell you that much. Okay, cool. We got like a Nomai temple going on. Mm -hmm. 
Can I leave my headlights on or something? I'm gonna get you. Not having a repeat of uh, Finny here where I ran out of fuel and died. That's a lot of water. Is there anything in here? <laughs> Maybe not. If I open this with my scout on it, does my scout get pulled into the wall? The answer is yes. Ooh, we got a bramble. Does this place normally look like this? <laughs> I don't think it does. Uh, I don't know what I just switched. Oh, I turned the lights on. I turned like a light on. He's got a plant. Salvia! From a brief analysis, we know these blooms to be a highly potent hallucinogenic. Yeah, that was my other uh, thought, right, about the unidentified particulate in the atmosphere. That was like, so, yes, this looks like timber hearth, but like, maybe it's not. Maybe, like, I'm just hallucinating from breathing something in. Fetonia says, indeed, they could theoretically deliver this toxin through physical contact. Curiously, they also emit this toxin into the atmosphere in smaller amounts. However, they clearly have no effect on us. Hypothesis. Our kind skin is not porous enough to be susceptible. Right, and I'm, you know, an amphibian. I probably breathe through my skin. Uh, I mean, I don't, though, objectively, because you gasp for breath when you suffocate, so never mind. But you get my point. Okay, I'm gonna touch it. Ah, oh, I'm tripping now. I'm insane. I'm crazy. But sure, okay. So I am hallucinating, probably. Although then, why am I hallucinating? No, am I explaining the fact that I am hallucinating? Also, wait a second, this mod has nothing to do with the concept of community. Uh, what are we looking for? Oh, timber heart. No discoveries yet. Really? Okay, well, you lose a million points for not having any ship logs whatsoever. You actually go to jail. Where's the Bramble Crater? There's the Bramble Crater. There's no bramble in it. Well. Whoops. Every, like, cave that goes down seems to be blocked. Maybe Ernesto does have more dialogue. Where, where, yeah, you ate them. Go to the grove, it'll clue you in. Didn't clue me in. Unless, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Starry pool. Well, I'd say that that pool of water with the starry... Oh, is... What? The spokesperson. Galena, where are you? I'm not there. I'm a spokesperson of sorts. You may know me as this. For whom? Time you'll learn this. For now, direct your curiosity beyond me. Perhaps visit our largest geyser. Just tell me. <laughs> 
Okay, I I checked I checked that though. I did go to the largest geyser and it said we're all hallucinating, so. So I don't get it. I'm gonna die now. Anyway, there's the sun. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, I picked up the blue, it was this one, there was like a tiny one sticking out right here and you have to angle your camera right to get it and you have to be really close to it to get it and it was... <sighs> but I got it, I picked it up, oh, oh my god, I, wa I walked all the way out of there, I walked all the way back to my ship. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because now there's plants and stuff everywhere. Maybe I was meant to have seen that the plant grew. Oh, that's my bad. I guess I'm missing... I'm missing the true experience, then. Maybe I should go back in. Oh, there's light now. Oh, there's plants all over the place. Oh, I, I really ruined my experience by not seeing... Oh, my goodness. Oh no, there's plant. Oh no. Okay, so I come out of here. I'm like, wow, I got the flower and I'm not cheating. Oh my goodness. There's a big plant. Oh. Whatever will I do? And I get out here and I'm like, Oh my goodness, is that an anglerfish? Uh, it looks like it's got teeth coming out of it. Yep. Oh no! An anglerfish. Well, I sure am glad that Bird wasn't able to figure out the anglerfish AI to make him work on a planet so it's not a real living anglerfish it's just a big big old skull else I would actually be afraid oh my goodness it's another one and another one okay they are actually kinda creepy I will admit I will admit I don't I don't much care for him. You know I'm gonna talk to you. I wanna talk to Ernesto first. If he's got anything to say about all that. Where does symbiosis come in? What part of this is symbiotic? Hey Ernesto. Um You ain't got nothing to say. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, never mind. Ernesto didn't look out the window. Hey. So you found it. Now you may see things as I've made them. Isn't it beautiful? Another creation of mine rests under this village. Visit him for direction. I do not think he will bite. Oh my goodness. There's a fish under the village. Oh, the thing isn't blocked anymore. Oh no. Oh god, it's an anglerfish. And he's weirdly slimy and glowy. They always like that. There's a sign inside his mouth. It's gonna say like, haha, I ate you. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it. I wanted to read the sign. Now I can't pick it back up. Oh, I can. Okay. That was weird. Can I read the sign, please, without dropping it? Read. This all ends in the core. Um, 
Where's the core? We not in the core? I mean the core, like sure. In the zero G cave? It was blocked off before, maybe it's not blocked off no more. Oh, the geyser is turned off, so I can't escape. So, I sure hope it's <laughs> accessible from here. Boy, I sure hope I see the core soon. Is this the core? I don't see much in the way of cores around here. Is it this way? I... no. Oh yeah, that goes pretty... core. Nope, this just brings me full circle. I guess I'm stuck down here forever. I guess I'm gonna cheat. I love cheating. I sure do enjoy cheating your video games. Yep, zero G cave is open. So you go under the old village, and then you get trapped down there for eternity because the geysers don't work no more. That's cool. Genu I don't know why I'm being... Yeah, you know, I don't. This, this is this is a fine mod. You kidding me? You, you kidding me? Okay. Well. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. There. I've tricked you. Oh my goodness. Another anglerfish. We. Oh no. How will I get past it? It's pretty cool, to be fair. Take it, I don't need that uh, thing no more. Ah! What? <laughs> Ew, that's gross. Oh, that's icky. I don't like that one bit. Did you enjoy the yarn we spun? We tailored it to you to test if your kind endangered us. Your kind is quite erratic, but noting the tardiness in your arrival, ultimately feeble. Our assessment wasn't all dismal, though. Your kind's virtue lies in its communality, its warmth. This we must grant you. Well, you made a big mistake there. You should have said in its community, and you should have highlighted the word community in orange. And then you would have won the mod jam. But now, this mod has nothing to do with community at all. Your dominant concern was for your missing friends. This was endearing. Well, to be fair, that wasn't my concern, because I was like, oh yeah, this is a weirdo planet with nothing, and it's not real. <laughs> Your kind has kindled themselves a hearth indeed. Though snuffed out young in this universe, we hope it imprints upon the next. Go now, be with your friends. Um, how do I go? I just leave? That was it, I, I just leave, I just dip. Um, am I in hell? 
mine unloaded hell. Um, well then. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I think it thinks I'm underwater too. Um. Oh, the sun's exploding. That's... That's a thing that's happening. Can I go in here? Oh. <laughs> okay. Sure. You return to your community on Timber Hearth. They await you with open arms. And then they all get fried by a supernova. The end. Okay, so I will admit, I did get a bit exacerbated at the end there, since the mod didn't have ship logs, and I had just played some other mods that didn't quite make as much sense as some of the others. But in the end, this mod was pretty good. A bit rough around the edges, could use some additional polish and fixes, but generally, quite good and well written. If we were giving out a prize for best Ernesto, it'd go to this mod. But we aren't.